good intentions uh, while we fix the last couple audio issues. So, um, for intro question today, since in honor of Zeptimus taking his driver's test, what is the, the first car you drove when you got your driver's license? Um, so I'll start. Uh, I drove the family's uh, Pontiac Transport van. It has like that wedge front. Um, we call it the spaceship van, and we could pile, you know, eight people in there. So that was pretty rad. Um, intentions for the call, follow up on how the hack session was last Thursday. Um, go over some of these comments from Brett on our uh, contracts, potentially, and make sure we're moving towards the Collins upgrade. And I will pass it to Nuggin. Hey, yeah, well, my my first car was the, when I got the license, just, I don't know, I don't remember the model. It was just like a really old Volvo from my grandfather who just stopped driving and just gave it to me. And yeah, that was my first car. Well, my, my only car, actually. I, I haven't had another car. The, the car doesn't work anymore. And we, we got rid of it, but I haven't had a new car. So that's that's it. And in terms of just, yeah, see, sync up, see how everything's going and and mainly that. And I'll pass to Zepti. Thanks, Nagin. Yeah, I actually drove drive a car. Uh, my parent, uh, my father wanted to get my license when I was 18 and he was pushing me to drive his car. Uh, I do not know the model, but it was a, an old one too. Like, uh, and yeah, uh, intentions. Yeah, uh, think with you guys, get the recording and yeah, hang out. I'll pass it to uh, Paulo. Are you guys listening? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Uh, what was the question? Sorry. Uh, the first car you drove. I haven't drive a car like. Uh, yeah, I never have, I never have drive a car. <laughs> so I'll have to pass. <laughs> Um, I'll pass it to, well, Chewy. Um. Thanks, Pablo. Um, first car I drove, I think, was like the family's pickup truck. Uh, pickup trucks are a lot of fun, and they're handy for just a lot of weird ideas. Um, but but yeah, like I, I especially after I moved to Mexico City, I just got away from driving. There's like a much like wider uh, like culture here about like not driving and using uh, like public transportation. So I enjoy it more now because I keep it handy for whenever it's needed. Like yeah, like driving a van from Switzerland to Paris or that kind of stuff <laughs> for like. Um, black ops um and yeah it's just more much more enjoyable um and intentions for today uh just catch up uh with uh with uh, how everything is doing and no distractions and uh pass it to yeah i think that's it or Griff. yeah no uh, that was mateo's first car mateo's first time driving a car that that i snuck when i snuck them into from Switzerland to Paris. That was kind of fun. Uh, so he'll get to say, oh, it was this badass like AI 2021 vehicle. I don't know. But my first car was a 1984 GMC Jimmy that I used to take out behind this bully, bowling alley and like just go crazy with it around these dirt roads. And like, I don't know how we didn't die, but my friends in high school, we just put in music and we would just, I would drive it and it was like rallying up and these, it was really stupid, but it, it was, it was great. Never got in trouble. It was a character of, I, I had a lot of vehicles that had a lot of character to say the least. Um, and then for intentions, yeah, I guess it's always uh, checking on, you know, the, how we do the upgrades for conviction voting and how like, you know, the multi-token conviction voting, what the status is on that. And, uh, you know, the commons upgrade latest, like, 
maybe it would be really cool to get some kind of um, prediction on when the community will get a demo of uh, the commons upgrade. It would be really cool to have that come out with the uh, params thing, you know, so they could be like, oh yeah, this is the thing we're designing, and here's a demo of it. So yeah, and I'll pass it back to Bradley. All right, sounds good. Um... Who was someone who was at the hack session on Thursday? Want to give us a quick recap of uh, what you guys were, were able to do? Hello. Um, we are in the same computer now. Oh, yeah. Sam, what was your first car first? Come on. Uh, it was, I, al I almost died. I almost assassinated my cousin. <laughs> he, he led me... Um, drive his car and was telling me and was telling which was the brake and which was the accelerator. So we were approaching a, a curve and he told me, uh, use the brake, use the brake. And I used the accelerator. <laughs> so <laughs> that was a funny, a funny story that we will remember always. Of course he's cousin. But we were fine. And intentions, I guess that updates because we have been working. We are more, more or less in the same spot as last week because we have had many, many I don't know what, what's going on. Um, we have everything looks good except that it's not working. So we we have to try again. Probably this time on next day, because in next day we have everything validated, and in Rinkeb we are having a lot of problems anyway. So next step is do the same in in next day and see if we can understand what's going what's going on with it. Um, so. In the hack stage on Thursday, we were talking a little bit about the next steps that we were going to take and hacked a little bit on continued with the uh, commons upgrade. We have the migration script, we have the upgrade script. The upgrades uh, works um, fine. I think that it they were also working fine last week. But with the migration, uh, it is trying. It is understanding that we when we want to use the bolts that are not. So I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, it's quite annoying. And also very costly. Cost, it costs a lot to understand what's going on, and it costs a lot to understand to redo the test. It is taking a lot of time, but we will keep trying on that. Uh, I think that this is the state right now. Uh, move to XDI and see if we can spot the the bug in there. The the book in there because it at least in in next day we have the uh, front ends we have the the validated contracts it's going to be way easier and I think that that's it um, some updates on the EVM CRISPR uh, part we have been also working with Green Hornet. Uh, we have advanced quite a lot with the tests, with the... It has a new feature now that uh, it can make um, actions with the agent, which also means that from now on it is easy. Uh, actually, uh, it is possible right now to deposit money into Agave from a DAO. This is already working. And the um, in relation to the two token thing, uh, it is the same la like last week. We need the tests, and probably we will need some tweaks 
into the front end of gardens in order to be able to use that. Uh, the same, we also need some tweaks in order to have a different token for conviction voting. So I think that it will go all in the same place. But first, the priority now is let's have this common operate working. That's that's what we should be focusing. And I don't know, Pablo, do you want to say something? Um, I think you pretty much cover um, the latest work. And also, uh, from my side, uh, I've been working on implementing the unit test for the CRISPR for every functionality. And there I already did uh, the push the commits. And so it's there's that, uh, but uh, apart from that, uh, I think that's all. Yeah. Uh, regarding the commons upgrade, yeah, we've been having a problem with the migration because it's not, um, there's like a mismatch between the vaults, so the, it can migrate correctly. Which is your level of desperation right now? Quite. Um, yeah, I would say it's um, like a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Come on, that, <laughs> that's, that's, really. that's not that much. No, uh, it's, it's like a 6, actually. Uh, uh, there has been a problem with Drinkaby, too. Uh, some of the transactions that we try to send, like, it takes a lot to be, like, received. So we're, we're going to try XI, which I think it's going to be better. And because we have like the gardens there working fine, uh, so uh, that will be our next step. Yeah, the, the only problem I see in next day is that we are going to uh, uh, make it dirty the gardens in in next day. We will need some liquidity. Uh, the gardens are going to be a bit dirty if we use. If we use X, that's my. Maybe we can do only the migration into something that is not a garden or something, or deploy a garden without putting the liquidity. Yeah, I just want to test like the specific part that we're missing, or is uh, throwing the error, which is basically the way we install the migration and how we set the vaults or the agents for the migration. That's the part that we're having troubles with. It's getting fucking difficult, guys. Uh. But, yeah. We will do it. Okay. Uh, what else uh, the, would you like to talk about? Do we need to do any follow up on uh, on Sokai's review of uh, the bonding curve? Ah, uh, yeah, totally. Uh, Sokai has some comments on it. Uh, probably we should go with what he was saying. Um, wait a sec. Maybe showing the. Um, oh yeah, I can. Sure, sorry. What what do, what do you think about uh, sharing the the notion, if I think that there, there are no problems in regards of security. I mean, as long as we're gonna fix them all. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> if if we plan on fixing them, then we should. Yeah, let's show it. <laughs> <laughs> There is no active uh, voting call right now, so maybe I can share the link on the group and share the screen. One can. Actually, that's a really good point. Is the is the Aragon court is done, right? Are there any other bonding curves out there uh, using the fundraiser app? It is our specific version of the fundraising. I'm sure a lot of the, I mean, I, I still think it's okay to show, but maybe we should do some due diligence on like, if other people are using it. 
No, no worries. Uh, it is receive approval and make by order row, which are functions that are pretty specific to OneHive. Okay. So no worries with that. Okay, um, great. great. So um, in OneHive, uh, in the moment in which garden was a bonding curve, uh, we added the, um, some some support for approve. Uh, I, I don't know how which is the name of the interface, but it's some kind of interface that makes the approve thing easier. Now it's uh, the model that is usually used is permit, but this is some kind of permit, but previous to permit. And so I found uh, some little um, things that could be changed. It's not exactly like a big problem. Uh, it's just, okay, make sure that you use the safe transfer from because maybe the, the underlying token is not a safe token. Just make use of it. Um, so um, checks on the length of the data and these things. And the, uh, yeah, the, the approve and call interface is the is the one that uh, we are using. Maybe we change it in order to mm. Wow, there is a another thing that there are other things that are a, a, bit, a little bit weird from a second uh, check of Shokai on the bonding curve. That I think that I are quite interesting in, in regards of, okay, we are burning before calculating. I think that this is the proper way to do, by the way. Or maybe not. We will see. We will see. And I don't know. There are many things that we have to check out. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, is a is a beast. <laughs> um, so it was super cool uh, to to have the the call with him and checking all this uh, this stuff. Um, I think that this should be something that is as prioritary as the common upgrade, but first we should finish the command upgrade because uh, it is already taking too much. But I would love to uh, go through all these issues and, and, and fix them. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Um, they, they are not that bad. At the end, it's, it's just... Uh, the the work that Chokai is doing is the hard one. Changing the contract is is not so hard. In in relation to the to being able to launch the project. And maybe to, today is this is what we can have. I mean, we wanted to show the demo. But we are sorry because we could not, uh, by any way, um, I don't know if we could show something else. In maybe the Agave uh, deposits through with the IBM CRISPR. I don't know if, if you would be interested in that. I'm. I'm. Uh, I mean, I think so. So, do you think that you're going to move it to XDI instead, and just like give up on even playing with Rinkeby? Because I, I mean, that seems like a fine. Yeah, idea. I. I'm not 100 percent sure of that move. Maybe Rinkeby offers us a little bit more. Um, XDI offers us a little bit more information because the artifacts are more accessible right now in. In XDI and in Rinkeby, and we know 
it's easier to use at, at the moment uh, because there, there is some information that has been lost from the applications in Rinkeby. Maybe that could help as the book. Uh, maybe migration tools is, is bad in Rinkeby. But no, because it's the last version that you asked me to deploy. Yeah. So it should not it should not be bad. I mean, the, main, the main reason reason is because uh, the transactions are, are not getting sent are, are not being sent on Rinkeby. Like uh, uh, we're having troubles with uh, when we are creating the votes because it takes a while to I don't know why to be sent. So in uh, on XI, uh, sending the transaction will be more faster. I don't mm. know. So it's uh, so we can uh, test the migration tools and see if it's been installed correctly. Because the main problem is that one of the votes it's been set uh, correctly, but the other one, the I think it's the um, the commons pool uh, agent. Uh, it's taking, it's getting uh, the wrong one, and it's installing the migration tools with that one. So we need to check why is um, um, why is uh, setting the wrong agent, the the wrong commons pool agent. But uh, that's the main problem that we're having. So uh, I think it's it's going to be better to test this out on, on next time. Yeah, so I, I, don't, I, I don't know if we can... I actually don't know if we can leave it here for today since uh, there are not so much advances on, on this front. Uh, if if there is some some other thing that we could be talking, I'm I'm happy. If not, we can just keep working on on the Gonzo Great and and see if for next week we can have at least the it working or be able to have the demo. Is this uh, notion something that anyone can access? Um, not for now. For now, okay. Right. Not for now. <laughs> it's 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 just a sneak peek of what's going on with the bonding group. Sure. Okay. Do we need to file these uh, as issues to take care of, or do we just work from this notion? If you want, um, that's that will be interesting. If you want to go and put all of them in in issues in order to track them, I I, I guess that it, it can be uh, we we have to track them all. Yeah, I agree. All right. Um... I'll have to, I may need some help getting access to the notion. Yeah, we will send, we will send. Okay. You are in the group, right? Yeah, in I have the... a link, but when I clicked on it, I couldn't get in, so. Oh. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, we will give you access. Yeah. By the way, maybe not, not by now, right? Because if, if we are saying that maybe it's not a good moment to share the notion, maybe not. Uh, making the issues public is not the moment. Um, let's let's track it for now on on private. We will okay. give you access, but uh, do not um, publish as as issues by now. Okay. Sounds good. All right. So. Um... Some clear action items to get done uh, this week, it looks like, and uh, still have a hack session scheduled for Thursday as well. Yep.
Yeah, luckily <laughs> we can maybe you can solve this before the hack session and do a quick demo Thursday. We will see, we will see because um, oh. we, are, we are sorry guys with that. It's like we are in the most, in the darkest place right now. <laughs> <laughs> place. I'm in the downstairs. I don't know what you're talking about. No. <laughs> no, it's okay guys. That's how it goes, right? Yeah. It, it, it is like, come on. Um, no. We will, we will find the way. Sounds good. <clears throat> All right, well, that's everything that was on the agenda for today, and, and no one added anything additional. Um, so I think we can wrap up the call a little bit early today.